So, hello and welcome back, and in this video I just want to show you some basic usage of Wim. And for that we can navigate to our project, and open our main file again. And um, first of all what I want to say is that you can navigate in Wim with um, H, J, K and L. So with H you can go to the right, uh, to the left, with L you can go to the right, with J you can go down and with K you can go up. And also in Vim you can always uh, prepend the action you want to do with um, a number. For example, if I want to go uh, down two lines, I can type 2J, then I go down two lines instead of one. And there are other movements, like for example, if I want to go um, a word forward, um, I press uh, W to go to the beginning of the next word. And basically these are movement commands and for example I press um, B um, to go back a word um, to, the to go to the beginning of the previous word and also I can press capital B yes so there are more movements commands like that but basically what they allow you to do is here in normal mode um, I'm sorry I forgot to mention that uh, if you start a vim you are in normal mode basically what these movement commands allow you to do is um, when you press any key that is an action for example if I want to yank <coughs> that's a Y so press Y and then a movement command for example um, W for a word then I have yanked a word and with P I can paste that word that I've just yanked let's undo this and paste it somewhere like here so you can see it and for example I can also delete a word with DW or I can undo last change with U and for example, I can delete a whole line well, by pressing D, D. Um, so once again, if I want to delete this line, I press D, D, and then undo with U again. And basically, that is how to use normal mode. Um, there are a lot of a, a lot of more shortcuts um, here, but um, basically, um, what you want to learn here is the movements and then some commands like D for deleting and Yank for yanking. And then P, you can, with P you can paste the thing you've yanked or deleted. So let's paste this one more um, sometimes here. So what you usually want to do is to um, go into insert mode if you want to um, add a text or if you want to write code. And you can do this by um, by hitting I for example. And you can see I'm right where my cursor is in insert mode and I can type text here. But um, you might also want to open insert mode uh, the, the character after um, the cursor or at the end of the line so um, for example if you want to insert uh, enter insert mode after this character you press A or if you want to let's do this again A would um, enter insert mode after the cursor I would open it before the cursor and if you want to um, open insert mode uh, enter insert mode after this line you would press capital A and you can see you can type here again um, what I use quite frequently is um, O to open insert mode uh, in the next line or capital O um, you can see what this does and basically in insert mode you can just use it like it's notepad or any other editing software you can just type text here and that's that covers already two um, modes which is the normal mode where you can enter commands like dd to delete a line or undo or things like that then you have insert mode where you can just write text and uh, another mode you can use is um, visual mode and there are some visual modes um, normal visual mode you can just um, press uh, v and v for visual and then you can um, also use the movements um, from normal mode here to select text and then press an action for example yank um, and of course you can paste what you've yanked and yeah then uh, there is line visual mode that uh, you can enter with capital V and this is quite useful if you want to select multiple lines it will always um, select the whole line and then finally there is um, block mode um, which you can uh, enter by um, pressing Control B like this and as you can see you can select blocks here for example if I press X here to delete this um, 
same would have worked with D of course um, but yeah let's maybe just get rid of these here oh of course and uh, X if you hover, hover over something and press X it deletes the thing under the cursor so that is um, already the very basics um, I think undo is uh, very important you can just press U to undo you can press Control R to redo you can also travel in time by pressing earlier for example let's say two minutes <coughs> then we travel back in time two minutes and you can also enter later two minutes then we've traveled back to the current changes and uh, you can save files by writing and then here you can optionally provide a name or just write the file now we've written the file with the same name again but we can also write the file as main copy cpp for example and um, you can quit by pressing q or you can also quit by pressing capital c capital c to save and quit or capital c and capital q to just quit for example like this i'm sorry or c z to save and quit i think that is already the most important stuff that we need I think I will explain everything that I do in coding videos also. So, or maybe I can get a plugin so you can see my keystrokes. But yeah, that's already it for this video. And I hope this has been useful. And see you next time. <laughs>